Hello there guys, uh, today I decided to install a new heatsink, currently it's upside down, so just, yeah, um, as you can see I had to take out my motherboard, um, I had to take out the old bracket, I had to replace a new one, and this is what my computer looks like, um, I have pretty big hands, so this PC is like huge, uh, that's the box that came in, nice isn't it, <laughs> um, yep, that's my computer, I just, just thought I'd show you that, anyway, uh, to anyone interested in how to install the, what the fuck is the box? Uh, the Thermax Spire Eclipse 2. God, if I can get my hand out of the way. Eclipse 2. Um, oh my god, I had, I, I, it took me a while to figure this out. Uh, the instructions are a bit, uh, not, not the best. Okay, so you get a back plate and you, you get these four huge screws. You put the screws in. This is for AM. Three plus so, uh, sockets, um, and then you put uh, the bolts provided in the uh, AMD bag. Now, as you can see, AM3 plus isn't on there, but this is compatible with AM3 plus. Um, you put the bolts on, and then you put the spaces on, which come in the Intel bag. However, I only got three spaces, so oh, wait, no, did I do it wrong? I don't know, I'll have to read over again. You might actually have to use the metal spaces. I might be being dumb. Um, anyway, um, yeah, you put it through. Uh, I had to, it actually looks grubbier than it actually is. Um, I had to put some rubbing alcohol on it. So I put some rubbing alcohol on it. Uh, left it for like 20 odd minutes. And, yeah, so it's all clean now, it's got no thermal paste. That's my old CPU cooler. Um, I did a pretty god, goddamn good job. As you can see, the size comparison. That one's my old one, this one's my new one. It's huge, isn't it? Um, I've got two fans, as you can see, uh, 120 millimeter. I'm gonna be replacing them with ones of uh, blue LEDs. Anyway, uh, I got to the part where you have to, uh, for AMD, you have to install these these brackets here. As you can see, this one here. And it says, uh, I don't think we'll be able to, AM2 plus. Oh, it's focusing on my thumb, come on. There we go, AM2 plus. That's what, that's what it says. Let me just get it to focus again. There you go. Um, now, originally, it's got this like little... Go for a sec there. Um, it's got this little dimple in, as you can see. And literally, oh, I can do this with one hand. That dimple goes in the center one. I, ca I can't do this with one hand. And I don't have a stand for this camera. But it goes in the center one. And you get left with two, two holes. And then you just put these screws in and uh, it screws up and then of course with these holes we'll go into this one um, and just got to make sure you take this off you've got to apply the thermal paste that they give you which upon brief look if I just flashed it by the camera it kind of looks like a Duracell battery actually this one doesn't <laughs> the, um, the video that I saw which was teaching uh, made it look like a Duracell battery but clearly they've got new New thermal paste. Well, I actually call this thermal grease. Um, but, no. Nah, um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, as you can see, I had to take my old you know, socket stuff off. Uh, that's for stock cooler. This is huge. I can't believe it. Awesome. Anyway, I'm going to get this all sorted and I'll report back to you guys. Now, as you guys can see, I've installed these clips on the side. Um, I've changed the spaces around, and I've applied the thermal paste. Now, I know it's not all over the whole heat pipe, but uh, the instructions told you not to use all of the grease. So I did not use all the grease, um, and I spread it out, because <laughs> they kind of just left it in a clump, and I didn't really want to do that. So, um, yeah, here it is. Uh, next time you see it, it should be on the CPU attached properly um, and I'll see you guys in a second hey guys now as you can see it is completely on and I can use it to pick up the whole motherboard <laughs> the majority of the motherboard weight is actually the heatsink now um, probably gonna definitely install both of them but it's gonna take over some more RAM slots which I'm a little bit upset about so I can take over the black one maybe I'm not sure I mean hmm. 
I, I won't do this with you guys here. Um, it is, I think the fans are the most annoying part of any any heatsink ins installation. Um, I'm still worried. This, this thing's heavy, so if it's not attached properly and it falls in my case, I'm kind of worried that it's just going to totally nail in everything. Anyway, um, I'll attach it. I might get it back in my case. As you can see, I made the novice mistake of tightening my screws too much. Uh, I'm just focusing on it. Yeah, I tightened my screws too much uh, when you attach the motherboard to the PC. So, um, that one's stuck there. I need to get like a wrench or so something to help me get rid of it. Uh, I'll probably do a test bit as well. Jesus Christ, is my graphics card going to fit? Yes, it will. Okay, awesome. Um, 7850 Vengeance, uh, 8 gig. Um, what do you think? Look at the AMD FX Bulldozer 6100, which is 6 cores. Uh, all running at 3.3, or they can turbo boost to 3.9, which is a nice, nice feature. Um, I'm so worried about this. So worried. Just inch by inch, man. Here we go. Anyway, um, see you guys next time I decide to record. <laughs> and voila, these uh, two two fans. That's awesome. Um, yeah, the two fans. They use like this uh, rubber mounting, and it like it's got a it clips through. Let's see if I can focus it in on you. Yeah, see it clips through like that. Um, these things, as you can see, the plastic goes. You see the hole as a thinner part, and that's where the plastic bit goes on this side. The side goes through there, and as you can see, it just pokes out this bit here. And you have four of them. Um, I'll really plug them in. We uh, do a test boot. Now, I don't really want to do this on camera in case I fucked up, but uh, I'll tell you how it goes uh, in a second. This Christ, this shit's got so much power in it, like, these, I could like, these are more powerful than the fans you get in your room to cool you down during the summer, spinning like a bitch, I'm getting new fans as well, it's going to be awesome, um, as you can see, the RAM was a snug fit, and, um, uh, yeah, so, <laughs> it's, it's working, this is crazy, man, um, see to enter it into my case now, which, it's the part I hate actually. I um I do actually hate doing stuff with my case as good as it looks. It's just such a bitch to sort stuff out with. Um so hopefully I'll be up and running by the time the time I get back to you guys. Hope you've been hope hope you've uh, enjoyed the little kind of like tutorial I did with the whole fan thing. Um now if you're interested, it says oh, I should probably do a landscape. It says on here is that you, you see is like the little out dented plastic yeah it says air and then there's an arrow and um it shows that the air is going through that way and i've done the same with this one so it's a push pull configuration um this one i i, I don't know how to do it I, I think this one is pulling the air in and this one's pushing no hmm no this one's put push pull uh this one's pushing the air into my heat sink which is actually a decent temp and this one is pulling it out so you have constant airflow going all the way through I should probably do it. yeah there we, yeah, we go um, see my graphics card up and running it looks awesome is that LED actually in it no that's just a reflection of my onboard LED to show the system is on it looks good I love it I honestly do I just wish I got a bigger motherboard because look how cramped that looks oh, damn I mean I think this is a MIDI ATX board and I got a full ATX Full game tower, rather, and as you can see, my uh, my fan that's a, that's a 220 millimeter uh, with blue LEDs, looks awesome. <laughs> old PC, old monitor, uh, I've been getting new monitors. Oh, just watching a bit of TV at the moment, <laughs> yeah. And Nicki Minaj, yeah, because I'm a huge fan of Nicki Minaj, I'm joking, fucking hell. That's why I got her on mute at the moment. Um, coffee, coffee, I don't know why I'm showing your room tour, but hmm. um, there we go. I shall, shall turn this off now. Uh, thank you for watching. Blah, 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 blah.